All right, Mr. Gatekeeper here. Here we have a amplifier I built for a buddy of mine out in Washington State, and it was just a normal four-pill uh, uh, HG 2879 box, and uh, he had a little issue with the uh, with his coax going to his antenna. I think he had a short in or something, something weird like that. But basically, it put the box in oscillation and all that good stuff and sent it back to me and I think he heard about these 2879 C's and uh, wanted me to try four of them in here for him so these are the 2879 C's that C stands for competition I had a small roll and to help and name them in a sense believe it or not Mr. Uh, Danny123 actually came up with that Mr. North was about to name them uh, SD something I can't quite remember and I'm like well how about since they're the same since they're still an HG04-8 but instead of having four chips they have six uh, I think I was talking to Danny on the phone or something, <sighs> and uh, I was I was like, "What do you think, man? What, what do you think would be kind of cool to call them?" He's like, well, "Let's just call them 2879Cs for competition." <laughs> so I relayed that over to North, and he liked it, so he named them. 2879 C's and we kind of have a 2879 B also in a sense it's supposed to have five chips I'm about to be testing them here in a second but basically these transistors are still proto considered prototype so there's a hundred there's no hundred percent guarantee on the longevity and this and that I mean there, there's it's let's put it this way it's a lot of engine up under one hood the first issue we had is the glue couldn't stand the heat being produced by the transistor so uh, had to update the glue to a more high dollar high temp glue and it fixed that and uh, so I don't know we've uh, we've tested them in two pill configurations four pill configurations they work great in two pill and four pill configurations have it have, we've had issues getting them to work in higher configurations um, I'm going to be testing out a six pill configuration with them here very very soon we got a collaboration build I'm doing with uh, Mr. Clean shout out to Mr. Clean and uh, I'm going to try a few things see if I can't get them to work in that environment but uh so anyway here we go I'm not going to uh this if this was if if this was a box if this was my box I would take it to the point of showing you how much they can do meaning I don't care if they blow but since this ain't my box this is a customer's box I'm not going to take them to that level I have witnessed with my own two eyes getting about a thousand bird yes a thousand bird out of four. 2879 C's and they still did not blow believe it or not the 10 ohms were almost completely black weirdly enough but the transistor still did not blow it I remember uh, let's see I've done two tests that way I've done two tests that way but I ain't going to do that with these. I'm just going to kind of... I think I'm going to hit it with the one-pill driver. Well, first I'm going to show it to you without a driver. Then I'm going to hit it with the one-pill driver. Then I'm going to hit it with the two-pill driver. One thing that kind of sucks is my 150-amp regulated uh, power supply array here. One of the power supplies went out of me. So, uh, I'm going to have to use an unregulated supply with it which I ain't, I, I ain't too fond of that but it is what it is all right I was able to get the input down really low um, 
with this which is really good basically the normal tune that I had I just had to add uh, some capacitance if I remember correctly let's see it was about 39 picofarad worth of capacitance I had to add to it so the capacitance was uh, seems like it's it, it's up a little bit which is you know you got two more chips right so I guess maybe it needs a little bit more input capacitance uh, to ground <laughs> But it went up about 39 picos from where I had it. I think it was like 220 uh, starting off. So you can do the math. So here's your input, which is very, very low. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Barely even moving. That's beautiful. We are on 14.5 volts. All right, here's your peak. I'm just going to show you your peak real quick. Oh, so that's right there getting close to about 500 watts. Oh, getting close to about 450, peaking around 500. RMS. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Real low dead keys, about 120 RMS. Oh, yeah. When them light up relays I use in the past all right let me go ahead and uh, get it hooked up on the 100 amp supply I've just run it on the old servo supply right now so I'll be right back all right I'm using my new camera here thanks to my buddy Ben from BRB electronics so my radio is over here to my right and this thing's got a, a uh, right-handed thing uh, strap on it so I'm kind of having to cross my hands here so all right so I've got the uh, the four pill 2879c box hooked up to the unregulated supply a hundred amp on the high tap and uh, I keyed it real quick before I press record sometimes I don't do that sometimes I do and uh, wow pretty cool here's what we're getting out of it Oh, well, let me turn the box on. I just turned it off for some reason. I didn't look at the voltage drop. That's what I'm kind of curious about, too. Oh, 500 bird. Let's see the voltage drop here. Oh, 15.6 volts. So we're not putting a complete huge load on the supply yet, but that right there is is impressive. There's, there's definitely more gain than if I was just hitting a regular four pill with this. Um, a lot of times normally at this point I would be hitting around 450, 500, eh, about 400 to 450 bird usually. Peak watts. Oh, over a thousand. Alright. So, since this thing does have six chips on it, it still has more headroom. Which means it can still be driven a little harder. So at this point, I'm just kind of watching my voltage over here. I'm just going to see if I am going to have to switch over to this uh, 200, 300 amp supply over here. I really ain't load tested to see how big it is. It's, it's, it's the power supply for this Armour Double 16 pill over here that I am now using as a desk. <laughs> ain't that pitiful? That's an Armour Double 16 pill. I'm using it to hold my tools and using it as a computer desk. You can tell I ain't actually using it using them I, mean, I can still use it with all this sitting on it but it needs to be rebuilt it needs to be rebuilt but uh so give me a second because i have still not have figured out how to press pause on this thing and i'm going to hook up the uh two pill 1446 box give this thing a little bit more drive i'm gonna watch the voltage drop over here so far so good it's not putting a huge huge load but uh you could dump some power in this thing there's six chips you can kind of look at it as being let's see each two transistors an extra pill right two's an extra pill two's an extra pill so i mean it should it's, in theory it should run like a six pill in a sense We'll be back. 
All right, get 1446 two peel hooked up. And by the way, before we were driving about 50 bird into it, okay, with the one pill. <clears throat> now we are driving right there about 100 bird. I wish I had my derail radio here. I could take it to a third stage, but I've got some upgrades going on to it right now. I should be getting it back soon. All right, so here is the two pill 1446 going into it. I'm just gonna do some quick keys here, y'all. Go! Oh, getting close to 600 bird, and I'm sure it's probably running out of amperage now. Go! Oh, 14.6. It's getting kind of low on amperage. But it could take a lot more drive, and which I can't give it. Give me a second here. Let me uh, see if I can figure out something. Dang, I wish I had my D-Rail radio. It's getting close to 600 bird, y'all. Give me one second. All right, well, <clears throat> let's take a look at the peak real quick. 2,500 watt slug. Where you see the 10, that's a 1,000. Oh! So it's getting close to, close to 1,300 watts. It's like 1,250. So. Well, anyway. If I had my D-Rail radio here. See, the power supply is dropping to a lot. I can't remember what it was. 14.3 or 14.4 or something like that. Um... If I had my derail radio hooked up, we could see some more. Because this this box, it, it still needs more drive. It still can handle more drive, let's put it that way. But, mm, looking at about 150 per pill. If it was working like a true six pill, or at least like the, one of the ones that I put together, I normally have no problem getting about 1,000, 800 to 1,000 out of my six pills but normally if you can get six to seven hundred it's completely acceptable so uh the way i look at it if i had my derail radio hooked up or if i was hitting this thing with a bigger driver because you gotta remember these are still just two 1446s so if i was hitting this thing with a little bit bigger of a driver we could get it up to seven seven eight hundred like i said i've seen it i've seen it i've seen it up to a thousand and uh, there's another builder that I know personally. He don't he, he don't want me to disclose who he is, but I've seen him put four of these together and just sit there, just hammering a thousand. <laughs> Hit a thousand in the corner, man. A thousand watt slug in the corner. He's trying to blow them up to see what what they can handle before they blow. And uh, he was sitting there hitting it with uh, two twenty eight seventy nines. Uh, with the radio, I think the radio is doing like around 12, 13 birds, something like that. And uh, whew, just sitting there, just hanging a grand. He still didn't blow them during that test process. But I ain't getting all that going. Like I said, this is a customer's amp. I'm not trying to go to that extent with it to show the maximum it could do. I could put it on a bigger power supply too, which I'm not going to do. Like I said, this guy's going to be running this in the mobile. And this is actually his first amplifier, if you can believe that or not. So he's got a, somewhat of a unique uh, transistor. A lot of people ain't, ain't running these transistors out there. You know, they haven't really been advertised widespread yet. They're still prototype. HG's working on an 8-chip prototype too, which is going to be pretty neat. It's not sure i don't think it's going to be in a circular uh package like this but if it is going to be in a circular package they're going to be a lot bigger so we'll have to cut our holes bigger Cust uh make our boards a little more uh fabricator boards is what i'm trying to say all right well there you go brother i was doing like 1250 1300 watts um Right there, about almost about 600 bird. 
in the way that you're going to be running. Um, Y'all, this guy's going to... Let me tell you how this guy's going to be running this amplifier. A lot of you probably like, that's a waste of transistors, you know. Da, da, da. This guy's just going to be driving a radio into this thing. A single final radio. We're talking like 1820 peak. I mean, this thing should last this guy forever. It really should. And I'm going to tell you, man make sure your coax is correct this time okay make sure it's correct this time make sure your swr is correct i think you've already ordered new coax now believe it or not all four hgs were not blown but they had been literally degraded down to single digit hfe so, and I could tell the box had gotten hot. Look at this, y'all. There was two of these burnt. The input and the output were burnt. And you'll see stuff like that happen when you have an issue on the output of the amplifier. A short on the output of the amplifier. And the, and the box stuck in the oscillation, so it got so hot that the... Uh, feedback circuit started to lay over you see what i'm saying but believe it or not the transistors did not blow but they got so hot and were working so hard who knows for how long that the values of them degraded dramatically so they're pretty much i'm not going to use them there's no use of using a transistor that's in single digit hfe Unless it's just something for yourself, you know, you just want to throw a transistor in for yourself or something, not for a customer. No doubt about it. But we got this thing back up and running, man, and it's beefed up now. It's a big, uh, the biceps on this amplifier has got a little bigger. Although I don't know if you ever truly even get close to running this thing, what it can really do. But you'll be able to get out there and have some fun and tell people you're running a unique amplifier. <laughs> Enjoy this thing, Mr. Cinnamon Bear. Out in the Washington State area. Your buddy, oh gatekeeper, I'm gone. Bye-bye.